Anim Buju. Today is Friday, June 2nd. It's been a while since I did my last video, and there has been some discussion about the schedule of a video. Do I need to do it once a week? I used to do it daily and then every other day. And so now the discussion is about doing it weekly. And I don't know how the viewers feel about that, if they want it um, every other day, twice a week, once a week, once every two weeks. If you have a, any opinion about that, you can comment on that and we will adjust the video schedule to accommodate the need of the band member about the various information. Even though we have uh, many sources of information, Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, newsletter, community meetings, uh, letters from the chief executive or the other elected officials, we just wanna make sure that we provide uh, information that uh, may be useful to you. A lot of exciting things happening and uh, starting tomorrow that I was contacted by the Department of Interior, Deb Holland, who is the secretary and her staff, asked if Mille Lacs Band would host one of her sessions on the Federal Indian Boarding School Initiative. And of course I said, yes. So her staff were here yesterday checking out our facility and making sure that things were going to be set up properly for her to come in. And of course we have a great staff, so I knew everything would be up to their standard. So tomorrow the boarding school initiative starts at 10 a.m. and it's gonna go to maybe 5 p.m. It depends on how many folks are there to provide uh, testimony. And if you or any of your family have a story about your relatives attending federal Indian boarding schools and you wanna talk about that, Deb Holland is here on Saturday to hear that. And there will be initiatives coming out of that as well. In addition to Secretary Deb Holland and her staff, the Assistant Secretary of Indian Affairs, Brian Newland, will be here as well. And this is open up to everyone and all of the tribes in this Midwest area. So I'm very excited about it. Hope you can attend. We will serve a very light lunch. I'm thinking if there's about 400 people there that are going to show up, we don't know. It could be from 200 upwards. And then starting about five, there's going to be a social dance just to hopefully bring another form of energy to the discussion. I hope to see you there tomorrow. Also, that's pretty exciting for next week is the National Congress of American Indians. It is being hosted by Shakopee. We have have staff that have been part of the planning committee, a lot of activity, Tribal people from all across the United States will be down at Shakopee and attending and learning and meeting with all of our federal partners on all of the initiatives that we need to assist us with providing services to you, the band member. I will have more to talk about when that is done. The governor called and asked to stop by to visit. Uh, so that's happening next week as well. And that's pretty exciting in terms of that these visits, people call the Mille Lacs Band and say, we would like to stop in and visit you and learn a, more about initiatives and best practices that occur with the Mille Lacs Band of Ojibwe. And I'm very excited about that as well. Last week attended the Niachin graduation Graduations are one of my favorite events to attend and congratulations to William Boyd for graduating. And it was always a good evening for that. And I think one of the highlights, Kurt Kelk did the keynote and it was an excellent keynote address for Will. June 15th over in Hinckley, there is also an all grad graduation. 
So that is open to the high school graduates, associate degrees, bachelor's, master's, doctorate, any of those band members that have earned their degree that this event is for you. And I will be attending as well. So hope to see you there and bring your resume. We have a lot of positions open, always looking for band members that have uh, degrees and to invite you to apply for positions. For example, I have a young lady that just graduated from Bemidji State. And she talked to me about uh, the opportunity of working in the chief's office. So I did hire her and hope to use her education to provide more services and bring the voice of a band member into the office again. So I'm grateful that she was interested in working for the chief's office. Some DNR news. There are some bears around. And the DNR has a few simple suggestions. And it says to remove the bird feeders in the spring, wash your garbage cans, and limit compost piles to grass, leaves, and clipping, and to turn the piles regularly. And they recommend don't ever feed the bears or leave pet food outside. And if you want more information on that, please go to the DNR and BAN Facebook pages. District 1 Community Well Bridey Feast will be held on June 8th from 5.30 to 8 p.m. at the old District 1 Community Center. And the menu is hamburger and hot dogs. And they ask for you to bring a dessert and the three tastiest desserts will win a prize. There will also be drum and dance, and you can meet the new District 1 Substance Use Disorder employees, which is Vanessa Wias and Jason Sam. Health and Human Services is hosting a free summer safety event for our kids in the community. Opportunity to ensure that your children are set for the summer with life jackets, helmets, and booster seats. And all of these are no charge to you. And this will take place at the District 1 Community Center on June 9th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. All band members from any of the districts are welcome, but of course, the supplies will be limited. If you are looking for outdoor activities for your children this summer, there is opportunities to explore Father Hennepin and Cathio State Parks in June. You can bring your kids to explore and learn about fishing, archery, turtles, birds, and more. They schedule events for the next two weeks is on our Facebook page. And there was a policy done at the state that all tribal members from the 11 Tribal nations do not have to pay a fee to go to a state park. So utilize our state parks and there is no charge for you to go. With that, I'd like to say good day. I hope you have a great weekend and I will talk to you soon. Miigwech.